We've learned police responded very quickly to the scene here near Boston and Martindale after two groups of teens began exchanging gunfire. The motive at this point still remains unknown. Detroit police say three victims ranging in age from 14 to 15 years old are expected to survive after suffering non life threatening gunshot wounds just outside a police athletic league football game. Across from Schultz Park, interim chief James White holding a press conference telling us they recovered two guns and detained two adults and four minors. We had a PAL football game going on here, uh, about 800 people. Outside of the event, we've got uh, two groups. The group uh, takes fire or gets shot at. It looks like at this point that they shot back, so there was an exchange of gunfire. A heavy police presence since 6 p.m., grabbing the attention of the community, including small children who come here to play. Very unfortunate and unnecessary situation. In a summer plagued by gun violence in the city, police here continuing to speak with witnesses, including one whose vehicle was shot up. A neighbor also telling us the pain being felt here is very real. It wasn't like it was when I grew up over here when I was a kid. You know, it was a whole lot of unity. As detective work continues, the interim chief says officers will have a busy shift ahead of them, piecing together who pulled the trigger at least half a dozen times. We are also looking for another vehicle that left this scene. Uh, it's a brown Grand uh, Cherokee, Jeep Grand Cherokee. And I'm going to give you the plate because we're pretty confident this is a vehicle we're looking for, EZK8554. If you have any information about this triple shooting, you are urged to call Detroit police right away. From Detroit's west side, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News.